day, jump day, flight 808 back for another one. You know what I'm saying? We back in the lab, you dig? Um, this time, got a couple warm-up sets on the accelerator machine, jumped over to the to the super cat, you know what I mean? And then uh finished off with some box jumps and um different variations of one foot stuff just to work on the one foot explosion and uh some transitions. So uh yeah, hope you like it. Check it out. Alright, so as always, we start first with a little warm-up on the uh, the foam pads that simulate the sand, you know what I mean? Just to get all the activator muscles fired and uh, warmed up, ready to go. Did some some jumping, um, some knee tucks, and then uh, finished it off with some high knees. So uh, just a quick little quick little warm up, just to get going. I did a bit of stretching before this too, so uh, yeah. All right, so first, like I said, warmed up on the accelerator machine, man. Just wanted to get on there and do um, do some regular squats, working with some uh, explosive movement, just to get the base mo motion started on the uh, the jumping we're about to do for the day. Focusing on squatting that butt back, you know, getting down, try to get down to a 90 degree position if possible, with the flex in the knees and um, yeah. Bang out a couple reps, did a couple sets of this, and so uh, was ready to go after that. So next, I wanted to transition into the one legs. Um, trying to work on my one foot hops, and, and this really, really helps, I found. Um, if, if you can see, um, you can see I'm looking down at my, at my knee, making sure that when I flex my knee and I go down, um, my knee doesn't come over my toes because that's a position that you don't want to have whether you're squatting one leg or two legs. So um, yeah, just trying to focus on keeping my knee behind my toe and um, again, squatting that butt back and getting that, uh, try to get to that 90 degree. All right, after the accelerator machine, man, we jumped over to the, the super, super cap machine. Um, the weight on it, I believe was about 90 pounds. And um, first just working on some jumps. Some regular jumps. Trying to explode through the toes, pointing the toes at the top, jumping as high as you can every jump. And then uh, the the second set of uh, the, well, the second set of reps we did, we moved our feet to the incline uh, part of the machine. Just focusing on a little different things, um, little different angles. Again, jumping as high as you can, trying to point the toes at the top of the jump. And um, again, on this, focusing that your knees don't go over your toes. So uh, yeah, just trying to squat in that in that natural squatting position. All right, so to finish out the workout, man, I decided to do some 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 jumps, some some plyos uh, with the hurdles, mixed heights, and uh, boxer dance. Um, we don't got a lot of big boxes in the gym. Um, in the lab, so I tried to make do with what we had. We had some hurdles, some some low ones, some high ones. And here you see uh, one of the young boys, Cap. He's a uh, he wanted to get it in and see see what kind of work we do. So he's in there, just working on some one foot stuff again, balance, explosion. <laughs> All right, so you see he he kind of struggled a little bit. His legs were kind of tired. Um, he couldn't really do this motion right here. And so you'll see, I um, I finish my reps, and after I'm done finishing my reps, um, I show him a, a variation uh, of what he can do uh, because his legs are tired. And um, here it is right here. So two feet jumps, and then land on the one foot. So because your two foot jumps is usually stronger in most people than, than the one leg, you know, I had him transition back to that but still landing on the one leg for strength. All right, so there's a big box that I found in the lab and uh, I wanted to, to test out and see if I could jump on it. So yeah, decided to end with a little challenging workout mentally. Um, For one, because I, I've never jumped on that box before and so my brain was kind of freaking out. It didn't know how high I needed to jump and it, it just, it was pushing my limits, you know what I mean? For two, the double hurdle in the middle. It's uh, they're a little spaced apart. I don't know if you can see at this angle, but they're a little spaced apart. 
Um, it's making me a little nervous because they're metal. But um, yeah, and then uh, the third part was the physical challenge, man. It was uh, my legs were tired from doing the machines and then doing the, the jumps. And uh, yeah, you can see I, I didn't make it off on that one. My legs were starting to fail. And so it was good to push myself towards the end of the workout, man. And um, I always try to do that. And every, every jump workout I do, every workout I do, I try to push until failure. That's how you stretch your limits, in my, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh yeah, had to get that one. All right, there you have it. Wednesday jump day in the books. You know what I mean? A couple different things for you to test out, for you to try on your own, you know what I mean? Uh, different two foot, one foot transitions, um, going over high hurdles, low hurdles onto big box, small box, you know? So different stuff you can try out, man. Like I always say, comment down below, like and subscribe so you don't miss no videos. And um, appreciate y'all watching, man. Make sure you share it. Tell all your friends about it. Challenge your workout buddies to do this workout, all right? Check y'all next week. Peace.